All right, a bit of a goofy challenge today. We're going to try and win in customs using only the 1-1 one, one units in our squad. And by that I mean their starting stats are 1-1. One, one. Obviously you're going to have to buff them up to have any chance. Um, and here's the list. So we've got Frill Dragon, Nightcrawler, Fairy, Deer, Microbe, Dragonfly and Scorpion. Um, so not the greatest selection. And uh, I didn't realize while I was recording, but I actually didn't check the pack closely enough. So Deer wasn't even in the pack. And so there probably were some runs where I was rolling for Deer and I, I never found it. And that's the reason why. But obviously in the early game, we're going to uh, need Frill Dragon to carry us pretty heavily. The problem is that the only feints available are uh, Nightcrawler, Deer and Microbe. And uh, in this pack, I only have two of them. So we basically have to just stat the Frill Dragon and then roll for Nightcrawler as soon as we get the chance. Uh, guinea Pig, double Guinea Pig in the shop would have been great a while back. Um, guinea Pig did used to be a 1-1. One, one. There are a couple of other units I think that used to be 1-1s. One, I think at one stage Puppy was a 1-1 one, one when it had its old um, vertical scaling ability. And I think um, Horse at some stage was 1-1, one, one, although that might have been on the test server. But now that we have the Nightcrawler, it's going to trigger the Frill Dragon ability. It doesn't give us a whole lot of stats since it's only a level 1. But we can uh, use the Pangolin Puppy combo here to get a good amount of HP onto the Frill Dragon and uh, increase our chances of it being able to uh, carry us. It's actually going to have to carry us for basically the whole game because um, a lot of the other pets, you know, the Fairy and the, uh, the Microbe are borderline useless. I suppose you could put uh, Microbe at the back just to have another faint pet, but with the 1-1 one, one stat line, it's pretty likely to get sniped a lot of the time. So the principal strategy here was uh, getting multiple Frill Dragons, or at least um, one that was a uh, high level, and then having as many Nightcrawlers as possible. And you can actually um, buy-sell with Nightcrawler in order to increase the size of the summoned units. So the, it's a bit strange, the, the attack value on the Daycrawler is set, but for every unit that you summon, you will get extra health onto the Nightcrawlers. And so I guess they kind of create a little bit of a mini chain reaction. You know, if you have a bunch of them, then the Nightcrawler at the back is going to spawn a Daycrawler with higher health because the other Nightcrawlers have already summoned something. And actually there were some rounds where I forgot to buy, sell or I... Uh, um, you know, combine the frilled dragons instead of um, buying them into an empty slot. And so actually the Nightcrawlers didn't have any uh, triggers at all. And in that case, they don't spawn anything. So we we roll past the microbe there. Yeah, I'm not going to take it, but we do find another Nightcrawler. And I should also mention I did have some other restrictions here. So um, you could kind of uh, scam this challenge by using um, Water of Youth or Competo. So, you know, you, you buy your Frill Dragon, you stat it up, and then you convert it into something else. But um, I was deliberately avoiding that. You know, we're only going to be using the pets uh, in their original forms. Um, so now we get access to some more of the good buy cells with the Stingray and the uh, Zebra. Now, you can also do stuff like buy cell um, Chinchilla there to get two uh, triggers on the Nightcrawlers, but... I think the longer you the, the game goes, the the lower the value becomes on that because the the extra health on the summons is so poor. Um, we really need to to level those units up as soon as possible. Now, luckily here, the Frill Dragon's ability activates before the Basilisk converts it into a rock. Uh, it's just the question here whether or not we have enough from the summoned units, and I think we are going to. Yep, you can see that the Nightcrawler health, uh, the Daycrawler health increases slightly with each subsequent uh, spawn. So we're about to trigger the uh, flashlight and I think probably I should, uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna use Angler. Uh, that uh, of course is the same as um, Chinchilla or uh, Stoat. I don't think I had Stoat in the pack. I was also excluding myself from using Stoat to gain access to other 1-1s. One we were only using pets whose starting stat line is 1-1. Uh, uh, one -one. Now here, I, I don't know if we're going to have enough. I think the yeah the level one nightcrawlers at the back, the the stats on the spawn units are so poor that we can't get past that team. I think I actually faced that person twice in a row. I don't know if it was uh, the previous turn or if we're about to face them again. 
But blue ringed octopus. Uh, we do find another nightcrawler, but I think I am going to pill the mammoth first. And we'll bring in the nightcrawler next turn. Running the four squad when uh, you've got multiple very weak units is uh, clearly a bit of an issue. You're really just gambling on facing um, other teams that have uh, you know, that aren't going to be able to beat one big unit like we have with the frill dragon here. And yeah, so this is the same person. And I think the nightcrawler. Yeah, we actually do win. Lucky there that uh, the unit at the back only had four health. So. Now I'm trying to work out what to do because I, I don't want to buy the Nightcrawler until the end because we want to trigger um, all the buy selling first. So we'll buy sell a Kappa. I probably could have just bought sold the pig there and then brought the Nightcrawler in at the end. Another uh, front Basilisk team, I don't know if it's the same person, but again the Garlic plus huge unit is so strong sometimes. If you get the right opponent. So I think level up here is probably better than having this the extra 2-2 um, two, two stats on the Frill Dragon and another Mammoth Pill. And then definitely take the um, weakness from the Puppy because that massively improves the value of our huge Frill Dragon. And then we'll freeze another Anglerfish for a buy sell. I guess in terms of the one ones, I could have also put Sloth on that list. Um, I didn't see a Sloth uh, during the, the recording for this, um, although I have seen quite a few recently. Uh, this team has Phoenix level 2, so I think we're probably in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, the 12-12 is going to beat the 3-5 any day. And I think, am I going to take this cat as well and do a bit of um, food scaling before we sell it? Okay, maybe not. Alright, I am going to do it. And luckily it doesn't hit the cat. Pretty rare that, that that happens. And then we roll Puppy again, and I actually forgot to freeze the Scorpion there. That is a huge mistake because there are so few things that we can actually um, look for. Uh, you have to be freezing Scorpion because the value that you could potentially get is so high. But the Frilled Dragon does great stuff there, and uh, I think the, um, the toilet paper covered uh, equipment on the front unit as well. So buy, sell, zebra, and then I think we just need to look for a fifth member of the team. And luckily the game offers up another scorpion. And I was about to roll past it, but instead we'll take the pizza and then throw scorpion up front. With the uh, weakness going onto the front unit, the value you can potentially get from a 1-1 scorpion is so high. Especially when you get matched with level 3 behemoth, almost 60-60 stats. Goodbye behemoth. And the Nightcrawlers just need to polish off the remainder of their squad. And it's not going to be a problem. So there is a win in custom packs using only the 1-1 one, one starting stats units. Let me know in the comments if you take this on yourself. Make sure you put deer in the pack.